Hey, JK fam. So we are back. It's been a little while. We know. Long time since I'm back with a jump off. Um, yeah, so for those of you that are new to our channel, this is the JK show. I'm Jay. I'm Kay. Um, and yeah, we are a married couple. And on our channel, we talk about various things, relationships, family stuff, blended families. But today, we're going to be talking about some astrology compatibility stuff this is something that this is jay's lane for real like people talk to him for hours about this um so we decided we wanted to bring it to our channel and open it up to our viewers and engage with you guys a little more um if you haven't noticed on our channel there's been some zumba videos up um zumba with k zumba with k he's the reason that i start, i called it zumba with k because when i first like got certified he kept saying that and it was annoying me but i was like okay zumba with k whatever so um yeah i'm a zumba instructor was some videos here to help people reach their weight loss fitness goals um if you've been following us for a while then you know that that's one of the main things that i did um when it came to my weight loss i went to zumba classes uh jasmine was a teacher at ufit um, started going to her classes and then I got certified myself and now I teach my own classes. So if you want details about that, you can hit me up about that as well. Check out our Instagram at Zumba with K. Oh yeah, Zumba with K. Back to the topic at hand, astrology, compatibility. Yeah, we'll get into this. Check this out. show what? I'm Jay. I'm Jay. So like I was saying, when it comes to this astrology thing, this is Jason's lane. Like people be like, oh, I don't really believe like I don't believe in it for real for real until yeah. I met him. And even like we'll go somewhere, we'll go to a party or gathering or whatever. I come back and he has like three people in his face, men, women, older, younger, like older, older, younger, younger. And he's just telling about them. I've like, oh my gosh, oh my God. I'm like, you need to start getting paid for this, whatever. But we wanted to engage more with the people that actually come to our channel. So we decided that we're finally gonna start incorporating it in our videos. Um, we do plan on doing a live video on Instagram and Facebook. And basically we're gonna, he's gonna be telling you guys about your lives um, based on what your signs are. So give us a little so, bit um, about the sun signs and the moon signs. So I wanna get too deep because um, I just wanna kinda stay surface right now. Um, but what I will be talking about is, it's a couple of things. I will be talking about one com compatibility. Um, it's a lot of myths with compatibility. Um, and two, I will be dealing with the moon and the sun sign. Now, again, this does get deep. This is not the only way that you can learn about yourself and um, how you are wired. It's different things. You have love languages. You have uh, numerology. You also have um, you have signs. And then you have little personal tests you can take. There's many different ways for you to get to your place called there. Um, Let's talk about our, ourselves, our so signs, for, so what else, and what, all that. We're going to deal with... Um, do you want to... Well, so, yeah. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll talk about us for a moment. I am a Leo, August 14th, shout out to my Leo nation, to my kids, Fire Nation, we out here. Um, I am a Capricorn, I was born December 26th, the day after Christmas, and the year I was born is 1990. Earth Nation, so that's what's up. Yes, I'm an Earth Now, sign. and each, now how I categorize it, just my opinion, how I categorize it, there's nation, I call them um, nations. So there's Fire Nation, there's Earth Nation, there's Wind Nation, and then there's Water Nation. Some people don't like to call it Wind, they call it Air. You know, but that's what I call it. And each nation, there's three characteristics. So there is the, I call them the low key power sign. What does that mean? The pleasers and the power sign. So the low key power signs are the people that like to do their own thing. They're low key rebels, low key, but they just like to do their own thing. They're gonna, they're the type of people that'll say, you know what, I'm gonna go my way, and whether you come or not doesn't really matter. That's what I'm gonna do. Those are low-key power signs. So those are the Aquarius, Taurus, the Cancers, and the Aries. They like to do their own thing. They don't really like to be told what to do. They're always, you know, thinking, putting stuff together. And then there's the pleasers. Pleasers are they seem somewhat needy. 
Um, they're the type of people that just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it, you know, let me know. They can almost be too helpful, kind of overbearing sometimes and helping. Those are the uh, Pisces, the Leos, the Capricorns, and the Geminis. Those are somewhat needy people, um, but they like to help a lot. And then there is the power signs. Now, power signs are the type of people that they love things to be their way. And they can, they not be manipulative, but the goal is for this to be their way because they're more comfortable in being in control. <laughs> Those are your Scorpios, your Libras, Sagittarius, and your Virgos. Those are power signs. Those are, those, are, those are the characteristics. So in sun signs, I'm a Leo and she's a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So we're both pleasers. And that's like the basic like sign where everybody's like, oh, what's your sign? Like that's the one that they, people focus on the sun sign, but there's the rising and moon sign also. Right, and then you have your, and then it gets deep, you have your, your houses and you have your planets. I'm not gonna get into all of that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is compatibility. Now, I already broke down the characteristics that are in each nation, but I'll deal with us. Again, I'm a, Libra, I'm a Leo, she's a Capricorn. So we both are pleaser signs. We can be very moody, we can be very needy, but we also love to help people out. Yeah. That is our heart. That's, That's like our passion, our, both of our passions in life are like to help others, like whether it's like education, fitness, advice uh, of life <laughs> just that that's just what it is that's what i cling more to um i love to help people and i love for people to help me out um but and when it comes to compatibility i will say this there's no such thing as a libra can do good with a cancer or a score some people feel that way but it's really based on how you are inwardly and what that individual actually wants right what you want for yourself not oh they told me that it, it, none of that really matters some people like people, you like, if you like a very strong, strong, strong personality, somebody that's somewhat controlling, not, you know, vindictive, but just like, you know, kind of take the reins a little bit, then you want to stick with the power signs. Um, and those are your Libras, Virgos, Scorpios, and Sagittarius. You know, stick with that. If you want somebody that's kind of, you know, that can help you, can somewhat be needy here and there, but they look to help you out, then you want to stick with your pleaser signs, your Leos, Capricorns, Pisces, and Geminis. Now, if you want somebody that you don't like to do their own thing and you're fine with that, not as far as cheating, but they just, they'll always come back to you. I call it the heart effect. You know, they like to go their way, you go your way, and eventually you guys meet back, see the heart. If you want somebody like that, then you stick with the low-key power signs. That's somebody that you can't control, that kind of got a backbone somewhat. Um, then you stick with those. But that, as far as the compatibility, that's some of the things that I discuss. That's one thing that we work well. Now, for, there's a positive side of that, and there's a negative side. Because we are the the con, the well, the pro, the con is that we can be very, very moody. If you deal with a pleaser sign, they can be very moody. Especially that, the Leos. That's wild. <laughs> They can be. Y'all know if you've dated a Leo or Cap had a Leo or had friends that are Leos, you know that I'm telling the truth. Nah, that's I mean, Capricorns are. They Capricorns like, are what? They like they like things to be their way, and if it can't be their way, then they be in their feelings about it. They want you when they want you, which is just weird. But then they hot and they're very like kind of brash. They don't try to be, but they just want to. They somebody that really wants you to succeed, but forget how they want to say it for you to succeed. It's just a lot, but I don't want to get into that too much. But um, they can't be moody. But one thing about it is a pleaser sign will help you out. Okay? So that's something that we deal with. If you want to know how you and your spouse compat compatibility is, it works. Um, another thing is the fire. I'm a fire sign. She's a earth sign. So. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sometimes we can, you know, it can get a little friction there. But I don't want to give y'all too much, but I was just dealing with the compatibility. We'll probably talk about that a little bit later. Next, we're going to talk about is the, we got to talk about the sun signs, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so he's a Leo, I'm a Capricorn, and now we're going to talk about our moon signs. All right, we did talk about sun signs. How you figure out your sun sign is when that's the sign that typically everybody knows. They go for the sun your sign. Your birthday. Your birthday. Now, sun signs are, that are, are your, it's how you think. 
It's just pretty much how you how you think about things, how you rational things out. So if you're a Leo, you think like a Leo. You're Capricorn, she thinks like a Capricorn. Now your moon sign is how you move. Normally you go to, you can Google it, figure out your moon sign. Um, you need your year, you like need your, your birthday, your birthday, your birthday including your year. year. Um, if you want to get really detailed, the time that you were born, but that's kind of getting into the birth chart. But um, you figure it out what your moon sign is. Once you, your moon signs are your emotional person sign. has their ups and downs. If you don't know how that person is emotionally, it can make or break a relationship. So your moon sign is very important. Now it is, it can fluctuate. Sometimes people can say, I'm a Taurus, but I act like a Gemini or I act like a Scorpio. It's because probably your moon sign is a lot stronger, has a bigger influence on you than your sun sign. For instance, her moon sign is a Aries. So she, that's that, she, earlier she said she seems like things she's very controlling. Because that's the low controlling side of her. I didn't or, say control. Or, I said um, power side. Power side. I said people say I'm bossy. Right, and that's that's the Aries side. She likes to do her own thing. My mom was Aries too. And and plus, and your parents have a lot to do with that as well. Because if your parents is a Sag and your dad is your mom is a Sag and your dad is a Libra, then you you come from a very powerful background. So you're going to still have some of those tendencies on you as well, or whoever raised you. Um, but she has, she can become somewhat bossy because her moon sign is Aries. So she really believes in helping people, but she can be very rash sometimes when she does it. She's not trying to be, but that's what it comes across. So emotionally, she can seem like she's hot and cold. And it's like, what is wrong with you? She wants things to happen emotionally. She, if she feels Get it done. If, like, do what she to do. If she wants things, if she wants something done, she wants it done a lot faster on her time. And the thing um, is, it's not necessarily only on my time. Even if it's like I'm helping somebody and it's about them, like it's like, okay, you want this done, so you got to put this action in. So if I want something for you, you have to want it for yourself too. So you can't get mad at me when I'm like, okay, you got to get this done because you can say what you want, but if you're not putting the action behind it in a timely fashion, it's not going to happen. And that's just that a lot of, a lot of that has to do with her moon sign, that she's a low-key power sign. So because she's a fire sign, Emotionally, she wants things to get done very quickly. Me, I, my son sign. And I'm patient. I am patient. But if you can, if you can control it, if you can. How? What am I trying to say? If you can help it, do what you got to do. <laughs> and and that and but so, I just have you have to be prepared for that. Um. So my but my sun sign is. A Leo, which is fire, so I think very quickly. So I, my, some of my thoughts are like this. So I think how she moves. Mm -hmm. So that way she'll be like, Jason, come on, come on, come on. And it's like, man, what do you mean? I gave you everything. What do you, I, I'm saying you're not moving, Jason. And it's like, I already in my mind, I'm there. So it's the fire sign of me. Now my moon sign is a Scorpio. So. Water signs can tend to be very, 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 very emotional. So I hold a lot of secrets. And most Scorpios, they hold a lot of secrets. They keep a lot of stuff in. Uh, they have to be careful about being vindictive when somebody does them wrong because of the fact that they feel, I would have never did you like that, but yet you're doing it to me. I have to, If depending on where you are and how you grew up, you struggle with either getting somebody back or letting it all go. Or you hurt me, I'm never gonna forget that. Sometimes with Scorpios, it's hard to let that go. So, and because my my moon sign there's and is a power sign, I can tend to change her mode immediately, emotionally, because emotionally I'm stronger than her. Emotionally, because if she's feeling happy, I can easily put my I can put my water on her flame. See what I just did? You got to pay attention to the climates. And I was going to get into that a little bit later, um, and I'll break that down, how the elements have something to do with the relationship, depending on where they are in your life. Um, I hope it's not too deep for y'all. But um, because me, be, now, because she likes to move so fast, and I'm a gentle stream, or I can be a hurricane, you put, even though she can be lava sometimes, lava in water kind of turns into rock, and it kind of stands still. And I can be a lot, I can be a reason for a lot of our slow ups, even when we're on a steady pace. And I, that's, and that's real because like individually on my own, like before him, like if I said, okay, this is my plan, this is what I'm going to do, whatever, execute, execute, like it's done. 
But now it's like, I still have that same mentality. Like, oh yes, this is what I'm going to do. This, what I'm, But I'm seeing it like, and I'm not saying like he's slowing me up, but like we're a team now. So it's like, <laughs> I'm taking, I, and it, in my mind, like we'll think of a great idea and it's like, all right. But my mind says, I thought of the idea you execute. And her ideas, I can execute, but I still want you to come along. So it's, it's like, not one, but it's a team. No, I need no, you to come Right. Along. But I'll say in my mind, I'll say, I'm coming. Not, let's go. So um, that's something that we struggle with. That's something that, that's a pro and a con that knowing our moon signs, I know what I have to work on. I have to be careful. When I'm in a mood, I can change her whole mood. And I'm not trying to, but it's just sometimes that's how I go. <laughs> with her, if she's really, really excited and we're clicking, we can make great things happen. Well, what do you mean? If you take some of the best food is made with boiling water. She has a great idea. I have a great idea. She puts her fire under my water. It's boiling. Now we got things moving. But if we're not, if, if I get upset, then I can take my water, put it on her fire. And now she's angry. Steam. This is real. This is real, y'all. <laughs> I used to didn't believe. I was like, just because somebody born on the same day don't mean they're all the same, blah, blah, blah. But then once you get deep and like the way he explains it, it's like, it's real. And like, I'm not the only one. Like he tells other people about them, their lives, their relationship stuff. And they're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And That's it's real. It helps people though. I, 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 and I don't, I don't just use signs. I do use love languages I, because I'm in a, I'm in a, a my goal in life is to help people figure themselves out while I'm learning about me. So that's my goal. Um, last but not least, so that's the moon signs. Um, it gets deeper, but we, that's how we have, that's a, that's a constant thing that we have to work on. You know, her giving her fire, you know, just enough. Cause if she, if her fire is too hot and it burns me too much, sometimes if you put fire underwater, it'll go all the way down and then you can burn the pot because you were so, you, you cut the temperature too high. You, we have to work how to, I can give her, I can give her just enough water for her to boil and she can give me just enough fire for us to actually put something in, let it, let it work, let it cook, you know, let it take its time and then we both can eat it together, not just, and that's sometimes our, our thought process. Her, um, but that's the moon sign. Her the moon is how you move, right? Right, moon, yeah. moon signs are how you, again, moon, moon signs are how you move, how you are emotionally. So if you're in a relationship with somebody, it is important to know their moon sign um, because of the simple fact that you can see when they get mad, how they get mad. Man, you say this and you do this, you can give it, but you can't and take it. And if you want to, if you're like confused about how to figure out the moon sign, like ask us in the comments, say, oh, well, this is the month, date, and year that my partner was born. What is their moon sign? Or this is mine. Or your son. It's, it's not even about compatibility with like kids. husband, wife, boyfriend, Bosses. girlfriend. Bosses. Like, yep. I, I, your kids. Yes. Like you, your parents, a child. Or Auntie, mother. Your bosses, partner. Like, doesn't whatever. matter. No, they're like I have to. I'm, I'm ha I have a better relationship with my mom because I'm learning how they are emotionally. Because everybody's goal is to have somebody to be, you know, great with. We love. We love. We're humans. We're not meant to be by ourselves. So, but we. The reason why people be like, I'm a stand by myself. Don't you see the memes? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with nobody that don't, you know, effort too hard and you effort somebody. Like the reason why people are in <laughs> their feelings because they've been hurt. They've been burned. And nobody likes to be hurt over and over and over again. But, and it's not that somebody's trying to hurt you. It's just that they don't understand that they're hurting you. So when they understand how you vibe and how they vibe, then you guys can meet somewhere in the middle. Okay. Um, last but not least, I'll talk about the elements. All right. Okay. So, and we kind of discussed it in the moon sign, the elements. And the, I told you the characteristics, um, the, the earth signs are the Capricorns, Taurus, and the Why do you Virgos. Keep them? There's so many. Virgos, Capricorns, Virgos, and Taurus. Now, in those elements, the low key power sign, again, is the Taurus. So a lot of the Taurus like to do their own thing. If you deal with an earth sign, Earth signs. A lot of people love to talk to y'all. They love to have conversations with y'all. You, you just. What is a Virgo? Virgo Earth. Okay, so most of my friends are Virgos, and I'm an Earth sign. I'm a Capricorn. Why is that? Well, because but you still draw yourself. You uh, Earth is on its own axis. So uh, and and it, and this is another thing. When you get an Earth sign and a fire sign, I stimulate her here. I have her heart. 
because if you pay attention to an earth, the fire sign, the, the core of the earth is fire. So if you date, now this is not always the case, but a lot of times this is the case. If you date a fire sign and you are earth sign, be careful. You want to make sure you know what you're doing because that person will have your heart. So that can either be a good thing or a bad thing. So be careful with that. She has, she loves me more than I love myself, which I never threw, I never thought it could be possible. But in how it makes sense now because I have her heart because she's an earth sign that dated a fire sign. So if I hurt her, I could really hurt her because of the fact that I have her heart because I am the core of her. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but those are earth signs. All earth signs, people love to talk to you guys. They love you. People love to be around you guys. They love giving you their problems. That's that's real. Like I, people come to me for advice like all the time. People that I've known forever, and people that I just met that day. Like it's like it, and I'm not like oh tell me all your problems. Like what's going on? Like it's like I, they just feel like I'm an open person. So I guess they just feel comfortable coming to right. me, and I'm a down to earth, my earth sign, but I'm a down to earth person. So I'm not mm -hmm. like intended. judging or I'm not, you know, I don't know. And the reason why that happens is because you're earth. Where are most people found? On earth. So they love to most be, a, people. Well, 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 because you got, you got, you got, you see, uh, uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but most people, human nature is on earth. So they love, you end up, they just love to be around earth people, earth signs. Now, then you have your fire signs. Um, are you fixing it right? Um, then you have your fire signs. With your fire signs, those are your Aries, your Leos, and your Sagittarius. Now, if you are a fire sign, you everything for you is like this. Whatever that fire is, if it's in your rising, if it's in your sun sign, or if it's in your moon sign. Now, for those that don't understand, rising is the mass that you wear. That can get a little deep. I don't want to give y'all too much, but I'm only letting you guys know that because I just said rising. But if you have, if you are a fire sign, you think very quickly. It's, it's fire. Think of fire. Catches. Go, 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 go. But with fire, sometimes it can go up and go back down. Or it can stay a steady flame. We never know. It could be an fuego or it could be a little spark. <laughs> it all depends. But if you are a fire sign, if it's emotionally, if you're a fire sign, wherever that fire is placed, if it's on your emotion, you can have a tendency to get hot. We say this with fire signs. Your fire can start in your stomach when you get mad. It can start in your stomach. It can start in your chest. Normally, when it gets to your head, fire signs just black out. Like they don't, they could care less. They don't care about nothing. They get mad. They cry because everything about you is just in fuego. You at that moment, you can't control yourself. So you have to be careful about it. You can burn out real quickly. Um, but so if you're a fire sign, everything is like magical for you. Now there's introverted and there's extroverted. Oh my God, there's so many things, guys. Um, well, we got time. We got other videos coming. <laughs> so, but, um, and remember. If y'all have questions throughout the video, make sure that you, like, ask please, it in the comments. And, guys, and then that'll help us for our future videos when it comes to this section of our channel. Right. It's, and, uh, now, and, and in the signs, there's introverted and extroverted. So, if you, my brother, I have a twin, and shout out to Josh. And he's <laughs> an introverted Leo. I'm an extrovert. So, some people, are like, I'll be seeing Leos and they all out. I'll be seeing some signs and they way out there and I'm not like that. It's because you're introverted of that sign. So just like an extrovert and an introvert, regular, you can be an extrovert and introvert of your sign. Um, but if you're a fire sign, you love, you love the shows, you love to be in the spotlight. You don't like too much attention, but you love attention. You like to give your own attention. Well, if you pay attention to a sun, you can't stop the sun from shining. The sun gives its own rays, so I don't need yours. But when I'm giving my rays, I want you to pay attention to them. If you don't, I'll burn you. Ultraviolet rays, you know, that's why they tell you don't look in the sun. Um, because if we feel like you're not giving us the attention that we need, we'll burn you. We'll, we'll you know, let you know, hey. And that's most of the uh, fire signs. Okay, but we love creative stuff. We love um, things to just be great for us. We love the attention. We love shows, stuff like that. Um, whether it's introvert or extrovert, um, you'll decide it. Then you have the... Water signs, which are the Cancer, Gemini, uh, Cancer, Pisces, excuse me, and the Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio. Now, water signs are very emotional, very, very emotional. So most people don't like water signs because they're like, oh my God, you're just so emotional. Um, but there's different levels to it. Um, cancers like to do their own thing. They are, they're, again, they're low-key power signs. 
But can't if you're a cancer, you tend to, and I'm sorry I couldn't go into each one, y'all, because I don't want to make this video too long. But we're gonna but, break it down. But like, um cancers <laughs> cancer, I'll deal with the cancers in this. Cancers are very um they don't like to address things straight on too much because they don't want to hurt feelings. Even though you may have some cancers that actually hurt feelings, but they really don't try to. If you pay attention to a crab, crabs walk to the side. So they try to, they don't want to have to address you straight up. They will, but they try not to. Um, the Pisces is, you know, can seem bipolar sometimes because they're a fish. So you never know which side is on. Um, but they're very mystical. They, they, they love to get into things that if you have a lot of Pisces, Pisces, y'all think of a lot of deep stuff, but you kind of weigh your friends because you don't know if they're on your page. So you kind of have conversations to see where people are at. Um, and Scorpio, Scorpios, it's real. You guys have a high, high, I don't want to get too much into the sex, but you guys have high passions for sex. You have high passions for everything. I feel like everybody knows that. Like when people talk about Scorpios. Yeah, it's, like, and it's because of the simple thing that you, Scorpios are very mystic. You can tell, you, you can spot things, you know things. People, when they pour into you, they give you secretive stuff that they wouldn't normally tell everybody. It's because you're secretive and you have stuff that you wouldn't tell anybody. But people bring that stuff to you. You're like, wow, why did they tell me that? It's because Scorpios are very mystic at times. Um, and then last but not least, you have the... Uh, Pisces? No, we already did that. Aquarius. Oh. No, uh, wind signs. I think I did. I saw the nations. Earth, fire, wind. I did the score. Yes. The wind signs. Wind signs are the Aquarius, the Gemini, and I've never seen you get so caught up when it comes to me. Because it's, I do this all the time. I get because I get I get real passionate. Um, the, the so the wind signs are the Aquarius, the Gemini, and the Libra. Now with the Aquarius, uh, you wind signs think a whole lot. They think they're the brains of almost everything. They think, 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 they can't help it. Sometimes if you have a wind sign, if you have a child, that's a wind sign. Sit down, chill. It's hard for them to do that because they have so much going on in their brain. It's just a whole lot. Uh, Aquarius talk with their eyes. So if Aquarius can tell you, are you fine? They'll say, yeah. If you miss their eyes, you've missed everything that's going on with them because Aquarius don't like to give you everything. They want you to understand them first before they give you. They want they want you to go through the maze of life with them to know that you'll stay. Um, the Geminis are very smart, but Geminis get bored so fast because of the simple fact that they're dealing with two heads. So they're thinking twice as fast and they're wind. So it's like two hurricanes going at the same time. That's nothing. It could be catastrophic. You know, this is how they are. My, my daughter is a Gemini and she gets, yes, okay. and she gets bored. Geminis, y'all get bored so fast, even in relationships, because you guys are thinking of two heads. What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? And most, before you know it, you're in a relationship with yourself and your spouse is looking at you like, huh? <laughs> so you got to be careful of that. And last but not least, Libras. Libras don't like a lot of negativity. They just don't. Um, but Libras are just in a whole different world. Libras, they want to bring their balance. Of whatever's going on with them. Uh, Bless you. Thank you. Libras want to bring the balance, but sometimes it's tough because you guys overthink a lot of things. You don't try to, but it, you do. So um, that's all I'm gonna give y'all today. I hope I made sense of what I was telling you guys. I love to deal with relationships in any way. If it's your mom, dad, kids, I can help you out, help you understand your kids a little bit more. Let us know in the comments. Like y'all, like we're trying to engage more with you guys, but we need you guys to hit us up in the comments. Like when it comes to like the bitter baby mama video and all those like y'all be that. in the comments <laughs> but like we want you know more positivity i want to i want to i want to help you guys out because i know a lot of times people be like i just can't i don't understand my person this that there. and the sex is i can talk about sex too yeah you know? like in the comments say like okay well my son is this son or my son's birthday is this and my birthday is this like why do we bump heads or why is my husband so close with his sister? They're these si like. Oh, why does why does the mother? Because why does my children? Why does my uh, husband's mother don't like me? Some people be like it's because it's the son. It's deeper than that. You know, there's a lot of things that it, that can happen. You want to just know. I um, mean, we can't talk about a lot of things. And if it gets too too deep, and you guys want to go really, we can get into. We can talk about like. We can talk outside of the video you know, and, and help you out. Um, but we are gonna be on live really soon. Um, and we'll talk to you guys about whatever questions you have then also. 
Um, but yeah, so this is the first of our astrology. We've been, we had a channel for over a year, and, right. and this is our first time doing. And it, we've been saying, "Oh, we're gonna do astrology. We're gonna do astrology. We're gonna do astrology. shout out to Yolanda." Shout out to Yolanda. She she um, kind of uh, motivated us to do this video. I kind of gave us some ideas on how to go about it. So and if you can, guys, share this video. Um, Please share it. On, if you do have Facebook or anything, share the video. If I if, if you're watching this and I've uh, inspired you or told you about your life, just share this video and just let the people know that you know I'm not some spooky guy. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just my heart. I have a good a heart. Just to let you guys know what's going on with you. I've talked to a lot of people. I, I may be in the thousands, or close to the hundreds, or close to the thousands. I'll say that. Give us a thumbs up. Um, um, and just share the subscribe video. Subscribe if you're not a part of the JK fam yet. Hit the bell so you get notifications when we do post our videos. And check out our old videos excited. too. Yes, check out our old videos. But um, as always, I'm Jay. I'm Kay. And we appreciate y'all. Sorry it was so long. It took us so long to come back. But this is just the initial video. Oh, you're talking about, I thought you were talking about how long the video was. But you're talking oh. about, um, <laughs> oops, I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. But yes, we've been on the move. Like, I mean, like I told you, the Zuma thing and then work between the both of us. So because we're not trying to make excuses or whatever. Um, People been missing us. Yeah, be hitting us up saying, when y'all coming back? So yeah, we're back. Um, and we're really Jane, excited. Jane, so um, Jane, we're almost at a thousand. Yeah. So appreciate share, you guys. Share, share, yes, come to subscribe to our channels. Like, Jane, tell them what you like about us. If you Jane, come to us to see our vegan YouTube videos, show, shout us out about that. If you come to us to hear I'm about Jane. relationships or blended families or I'm Jane. exercise, Jane. fitness, whatever, like share the video. Somebody else will find something that they can relate to. So again, I'm Jay. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.